Welcome back students to Chemistry 1510 video notes. Today we're going to pick up with chapter 6 and work on stoichiometry with chemical reactions involving enthalpy. So let's just recap really quick that enthalpy is basically uh, a heat, right? Enthalpy is a special word that we put for um, heat when your reaction is open to the air and there's no pressure change. And so we said last time that enthalpy changes can be exothermic or endothermic, where in exothermic, you're going to see a delta H that is negative. And this is going to feel warm. Whereas in endothermic, you're going to see a delta H that's positive, And this is going to feel cool. So when we start talking about these delta H's, there's probably a couple of things that we need to recap. First of all, delta, which is that triangular sign, means change in. So delta H is the change in the enthalpy in comparison to the products versus the reactants. The other thing that we're going to see is sometimes our delta H will have this little circular superscript. That little circular superscript is called a knot. It's N-A-U-G-H-T. So this knot means standard. So Standard, unfortunately, in chapter six is not the same standards in chapter five. And so what we see is 25 degrees Celsius is our standard temperature for chapter six and still one atmosphere of pressure. Whereas in chapter five, it was zero degrees Celsius and one atmosphere of pressure. So as we start looking at chemical reactions, now we can do our typical chemical reaction like this. But instead of just stopping there, we now can put a delta H associated with that chemical reaction. When we have a delta H associated with the chemical reaction, we call this a thermochemical equation. So it's important that during the thermochemical equation, we have written the states of each of the uh, compounds or elements because those states matter in what the value of your delta H will be. So what we're going to be able to do is use that delta H as part of a conversion factor. So remember the conversion factors that we could pull out of this before were something like one mole of uh, nitrogen um, reacts with three moles of hydrogen. Now our conversion factors are going to include this 92.38. So we could say something like for every one mole of nitrogen that's used, there is 92.38 kilojoules of heat released. Or maybe we could say for every two moles of ammonia, we make, there's 92.38 kilojoules of heat released. We could say for every three moles of hydrogen, there are 92.38 kilojoules of heat released. So all of these conversion factors are something that you can pull from this thermochemical equation, and you can also flip all of them depending upon what you need to cancel out. So let's see how we can take these conversion factors and use them with a uh, kind of typical stoichiometry problem. So here, this one says, calculate the enthalpy change to burn 28.5 grams of hydrogen sulfide. So when we looked at our conversion factors up here, notice how they were all per mole. And in this problem, we're given grams. So step one should be to convert your grams of hydrogen sulfide into moles of hydrogen sulfide. So we need the molar mass for that. 
And so now we're in moles of hydrogen sulfide because our grams have canceled. Now that we're in moles of hydrogen sulfide, we want the enthalpy change, which is really just asking you for the energy. And so what we'll do is we'll pull out a conversion factor here. We're going from hydrogen sulfide to heat. Notice how there's the numerical value of two in front of your hydrogen sulfide. So it's saying that two moles of hydrogen sulfide end up releasing 1,036 uh, kilojoules when they burn. So now our moles of hydrogen sulfide cancel out and we can put this into our calculator and get negative 433 kilojoules. So during the course of class, we'll absolutely practice this because it's really difficult for people to take that delta H and start pulling it in as a conversion factor. It's worth some practice. So we're going to stop here for now. As always, thank you for your attention. This is Katoni signing out.